Hello everyone, Coach Carol with you once more. And in this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a tool, an AI tool to edit your writing. First of all, I wanted some text that I would then go and edit. So I've asked my chat GPT for AI junior blogger assistant to write a blog post about editing your writing with AI tools and to please include the tool Edit GPT, which is a new find for me and one that I'm sure you will enjoy using. So it's come back with a response and it's quite good. It needs some work. However, it'll do for a start. So I've scrolled to the bottom and copied that piece of text. So now I'm going over to Edit GPT. And in this one, you can use it for free, but I've decided it is so good that I have subscribed to it. And I did this by getting the annual plan for 40% off. I'd have no affiliate with this tool. However, I just thought I'd let you know. So the first thing to do, of course, is to log in, which I will do. And then it brings you to your dashboard, if you like. So you can see I've had a couple of little documents on the go here. So I now want to use an untitled document. This is one that I started yesterday. So I'll click into that one. <clears throat> but you can create documents and update, upload anything you like. It will take you through a set of steps, if you like. So you can click through to find out what Edit GPT can do for you. And it's a very simple program to use, but for now I'm going to show you live. So I'll skip the tutorial. And I'm going to paste what I have from my chat GPT, paste it from the clipboard. So this is the text that chat GPT came up with in response to my prompt. When you're copying from ChatGPT, it doesn't pick up on the formatting. So these hashtags indicate that that line is bold. We won't worry about the formatting for now. At the top, there are a number of different ways you can edit this text. You can look for grammar, proofreading. You can proofread it lightly or do a full proofread. You can convert and fix only the awkward parts or streamline any awkward words or phrases. But the two that I like to use mostly is improve, which will improve the clarity and flow, or rewrite, which also improves clarity and flow. You can have styles such as formal, which will make it more professional, or concise to cut out the fluff, as it says. So let's go for an improve, first of all. It looks through the entire collection of text. And it hasn't done what I expected it to do, so I'm going to ask it to rewrite. That's better. So it's cut out all those little hashtags and rewritten it. So I can individually check these and take them out. So if I'm happy with all of it, I would simply accept all. If I wasn't happy, I would reject all. So for the moment, I'll accept all. And now I have some text that I can use directly in my blog. I still will make some changes to it as it reaches my blog site. But now it looks better, the formatting is better. If I wanted to have a more formal structure to this, I could then ask it to form, to make it formal. But before I do that, I'm going to copy it. So I'll make sure I've got that new one in my clipboard. So let's go to formal now, make it more professional. So 
So quite a bit of change this time. So if I accept all, we'll get rid of all the markings. And as I read through that, I like it better. So I'm going to copy that one and use it in my blog. You'll see that by going to coachcarolonline.com and look for my blog posts. So happy editing. Use Edit GPT to help you in this process. I'll be back with more later for Genia Blogging with AI.